Hey guys, Elliot today and welcome back to Ironic Sims and we are back with another house building video and today we are building a modern loft and this loft is really cool because it is a house for a one sim home and a so it's for one sims and it's for uh, it's for one sims and I didn't actually put any animal stuff inside here which I was actually surprised because I I you know, I actually just realized now, hey, I forgot to put an animal stuff, but anyway, it's fine. There's not enough space, so animals will just have to miss out for this build. <laughs> so yeah, um, this house is a, is a really, really uh, cool house because, you know, a long time ago when I started out YouTube, um, I, I posted this build because at that time, you know, if you did stuff on Sims, you actually couldn't uh, uh, f uh, f do very much because... You know, there was only base game and, you know, there was no move objects on and there was no all of that good stuff. So, when I started out, it was actually a, a lot more trickier because, like I said, you, you had all of that. So, one day I posted a build and, and someone said to me on the gallery, you need to focus more on detail. And, <laughs> and I thought to myself, crap, you know, there's not really much you can do, but yet people are complaining that I'm not doing in, enough detail. So... I decided, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, uh, remember about that. I mean, I've done a lot of other builds where I do a lot more detail. That's actually what helped me grow in this channel, which I think is, which I think is really, really cool. So, um, so yeah, I decided to, you know, make this a small build, and it's gonna be all about, you know, focusing on detail. Now, this build is nowhere you know based on real life or anything I didn't take it from from any picture because as you can see I'm adding waterfalls here now if there was if this was real life water obviously would be going everywhere but since it isn't you know it's it's not that so um yeah so I decided to add you know uh, so I decided to make this thing brick based and then added you know different accents around it looks cool I like it <laughs> I absolutely love it um yeah so so yes it's just adding adding some more some more detail which i absolutely love now i decided to base this this house off on a story which i just made up in my head you know it's basically about a sam who decided to you know make his own uh, uh make his like build his own house and he will have his own generator on top which i thought hey that's 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 quite an awesome achievement. So, um, as you will see me build a generator on top, which I thought, hey, that's actually that's actually a really cool feature, having your own like generator on top, on top, and um, yeah. So over here, you know, this is pretty pretty you know weird. You know, lately I've some sort of changed my, my building style. I always used to, you know, build stuff as, uh, I mean, you know, do do the building, painting, and then you know, furnish inside, and then do the landscaping. But you know, lately I've been doing the landscaping, and then I've been doing the building. You know, off, I mean, the the building like in between. Like as you can see now, I'm doing some landscaping, then doing some building. You know. Um, but I think James Turner also does something little, something similar to that, you know. But um, so th there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's just weird because it's not how I used to. So I put this big light over here in the middle, um, and you know, I, um, the one thing I was I was really trying to do is I wanted to make something that could hang over over that uh, vent thing which I put there I wanted to get like some some leaves or some grass you know just something small to make it hang over now I could make that hang over but then I couldn't remove the floor so it was just a mission so I just left it I mean oh yeah and I put some I put a few pieces of grass you know just to make it just to make it look a bit more a bit more you know modern and a bit more advanced and a bit more everything so so now I'm working on the roof and here's where you're gonna see you see now in this game unfortunately I basically you know had a bit of an issue because I you know I was looking for that stuff I could build the the power plant with and I couldn't find it so you're gonna see me spend a long time you know doing stuff and <laughs> so I put the stairs inside yeah, because I just wanted to make sure every, everything f fitted perfectly, um, and then I put the the, the glass uh, floor. Uh, so 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 it's got a, a sunbeam. What is it called? A sunroof or what is it called? I don't know. I don't know. But 
yeah so now over here over here i wanted to do something you know different at the at the front which uh which i couldn't really you know get around you see in my builds i spend a lot of time staring at the lot because i i tend to think about what i'm going to do you know because when i do my building videos nothing is actually planned out it's 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 just hey um, get started start building and just do it it all comes inside my head i'm not one of those people who who sketch out builds and who write it down on a piece of paper i'm, I'm not like that i'm i just like to do stuff you know there okay so while i'm doing this you know resizing stuff um, and you know placing stuff let me talk about what's going to happen when we get to the screenshots now um as you guys can hear right now i'm playing my african marimba music stuff so basically um uh, there's going to be something different i've got a real real nice surprise for you guys i've got my friend otis who's going to be playing playing a song i can't remember the, the name of the song but um I think it's called. No, I rather not say the name of the song. I don't want to make a mistake. But um, he's a uh, uh, he's a he's in my band Rockerimba, and and you know he's going to be playing. I'm going to leave a link to his to his channel down below, so you can go so you can go and check him out. But um, uh, he's going to be playing the music. He because he's a real really tal a real talented guitarist. So he's he he's going to be playing. Um, uh, you know a song for us during the, the the screenshots of the build so i really hope you guys enjoy it and uh and and yeah so that's that and sorry my my watch beeped again um that's probably gonna happen a few times in this build but whatever so um yeah so there we go i i built the foundation of the uh, of the generator because i couldn't find those items so i thought okay let me let me go around you know do some more building and then maybe i'll figure out where i can find it because oftentimes stuff i find for other stuff while i'm doing other stuff like if i'm doing the pool stuff i may find the stuff i'm looking for for the power supply i mean power supply i mean powerpoint now this is actually the first build I'm I'm actually doing where I where I actually build you guys your own um, uh, garden thing, you know. Uh, so you, so if you guys join this lot, it, 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 you know, I wouldn't say. I mean, a hundred and twenty-one thousand is a lot of money, but I wouldn't say that it's expensive. I mean, this lot is actually this house is actually pretty pretty cheap um for uh, what you get i mean there's a lot more other expensive houses in, in the game but you know so at the bottom here i've got you know i mean on the outside patio i've got a a, a nice barbecue area and uh, and a nice chair and and stuff and and i put that uh, stereo for some reason you cannot put it on the shelf which is kind of weird because it's actually supposed to fit there i think but you know what so over there i put a nice bench so you can sit and eat there with an umbrella and yeah so your sims can do so much and upstairs here i put a you know nice table i move stuff around i think upstairs and downstairs um, I, uh, yeah i think i do move stuff around but you'll see so now so, so now over here i've got you know a bunch of trees i i wanted to put some trees but i decided to put these trees over here because i thought hey that looks very very nice it, you know they've each got their own shrubs they've got a fence they've got everything so the only thing this house doesn't have is a big fence around it but you know i thought hey open plan looks actually fine so that's all good and then you know just putting some more shrubs some more plants um and then just you know placing dirt around <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i mean as you can see there things are really good and then i start finding some of the generator pieces uh, i mean gen i keep saying generator it's actually a power plant because uh, i suppose you could call it a really powerful generator but i would call it a power plant because it's actually generating electricity and the way you're going to see me do it later is basically it it's gonna have sun uh sun beams around it so it it, it because I thought, hey, where is it going to get the electricity from? And I and I actually had to think about that. And there we go. Now I actually found the devices I was looking for. So, yeah, there we go. So I'm I'm just placing I'm just placing these around. Um, yeah, but you're gonna see me. I I spaced them out a bit better. You know, um, but I, I mean, I posted this picture on uh, on Twitter, 
and it got a lot of attention like a lot of people like this <laughs> uh, i have to say this was so far the cleverest thing i've done all year in inside the sims yeah so it's basically those two pipe things on on either side that's basically what's sucking the electricity out of the power plant and distributing it into the house and then on the back side i've got a bunch of pipes that uh, that actually link uh, to uh, the rest of the house so it's gaining electricity to to the house so um over here i thought hey you know wouldn't the sims like to get up there so they can work on the power plant you know do maintenance but then i i couldn't get the stairs to go where i wanted them so i just left it because you know there i decided okay i'm gonna take some pictures and and you know i was just taking a look at it because i thought wow that that looks beautiful um yeah i was very happy with it so and i'm actually very happy with the way this house looks so now over here we're going into the building and here's where i decided hey i'm going to i'm gonna put the toilet under the stairs because i didn't really know where i should put the bathroom um so i just made a, a one by three i think bathroom um now the only issue with the chairs i i mean chairs i mean with the stairs i have i'm gonna put later is that i actually realized when I upload it to the gallery that you can actually see the person on the toilet from the other side of the stairs. And now that's actually not a big issue because the Sims don't really care. But if you guys think of it as an issue, then, then uh, you can use different stairs or board it up or do whatever, do whatever. But that's just the style I was going for. I could have maybe put some privacy stuff there, but you know, whatever. The main thing is for them to be able to go upstairs and do all of that type of stuff. I didn't actually test. The only thing I tested was him using the bathroom and going through certain objects. So I did test this lot, just not so thoroughly. One thing I'm actually bad at doing is testing. Now over here inside, I decided, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another featured wall where it's got like a really really nice detailed detailed uh, thingy and yeah, so. So as you guys can see now this paint which i painted on the wall with these bricks they actually changed to all white just because you know something messed up uh, and the paint because i don't know um it's a weird thing but anyway if if it bothers you you guys can put the paint back but the paint got removed which i should have actually done myself but then i you know by the time i realized it was too late um but I was actually quite happy with what I did because this part looks cool. This looks really cool. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I was very happy with that. I like that. Yeah, I, I just hope when you guys download this house, everything's, you know, still going to be there. Yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, so now so now I just wanted to add a half wall there because i wanted everything to everything to be in sync and yeah you're gonna see me i i add like like different type of wall accents and and wall thingies um but the main thing i have to say i'm very proud of is of is of the power of is of the power plant which i built because to me that looks that looks awesome so as you can see i'm just changing that bench because i thought hey that's a bit too big um yeah, so now adding in the bathroom. Now the bathroom I had to be kind of careful with because it wasn't actually considered as a room. Because um, when I when I placed the flooring, I had to do things one by one and it kept changing. Now over here in the bathroom, I decided, hey, I quite like these lights. Let's do like a type of light feature. And you know, that actually, <laughs> this actually looks really cool. And I, and I like it, yeah. <laughs> so yes. Um, so, so now I decided to add this flooring because it looks modern, it looks nice, it looks cool. We have a small kitchen and we do have a laundry. I actually didn't think I would put a laundry in this one, but hey, guess what? I did and the way I did it actually fitted perfectly. I just wish that the Sims team would, you know, would, you know, categorize, you know, the game properly. Like for some reason, these washing machines are in the recreational you know activity place which is not really good it's supposed to be in the appliance place because it is an appliance it's what you use to 
wash your clothes and stuff. It's not used for fun and games. You know, it's just stuff like that doesn't really make sense, you know. So, yeah, but I'm going to try not to rant about The Sims 4 in this game. I mean, in this build, because I actually do in the, in the next one <laughs> coming up about stuff in the next build, which is coming out next week. Which is but which is with uh, Lady Smitten. Now in that build, I actually recorded that one before this one, so I actually said Smitten. I didn't know it was Smitten or Smitten, whatever, whatever. But um, that build will be coming out next week, Tuesday, either either next week Tuesday or Thursday, one of those days. Um, but yeah, so so one thing I really like about this about this home is is that it's very small tight compact it's got a nice curved tv playstation xbox whatever you want to call that it's got a stereo um it's got a magazine rack i actually you know i actually thought of the the owner of this house the sim was going to stay here as like a it's like a magazine you know comic book collector type so i thought hey that would actually be very nice and i decided to make a nice stone accent over here and that actually fitted perfectly <laughs> i was I was very happy with that, so yeah, and then I think I forgot to put toilet paper in there, which I did, or didn't, I didn't actually see, see that very clearly, but um, yeah, yeah, there we go, I'm now placing, I'm now placing toilet paper, unfortunately this house does not have any rails, so if you walk upstairs, you have to be very careful not to injure yourself, um, yeah, so I wouldn't say that this video is a collab because it's actually not because I built this house completely on my own and furnished it and everything. But my friend Otis, like I said, he is playing his song in the screenshot. So it's it's a collab in that way. But he's just, you know, playing playing music for me. Um, I, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I actually never saw that spider. That spider was the first time I actually found anything. Now on this one, I was actually determined I'll get something that hangs over, um, that hangs over. But then I found these the, these banner type thingies, and then I thought, you know, that's perfect. That works very well. And I'm just adding stone. So we're pretty much done with downstairs. I'm just adding, you know, I decided to add these shield thingies, and I changed the color. I actually quite like that gold thing. I've ne I've never actually used that gold, but I've always used it at the original color. So yeah. Just adding, you know, different pictures and um, different, uh, you know, style items, which I thought, hey, that looks really nice. I mean, I'm very happy with the way this uh, this kitchen turns out. I don't think I added curtains. Now, over here, I thought, hey, since we got a, you know, such an open space over here, like a lookout area, I thought, why don't we build like a light? And then, then I decided, hey, look at this. I can make a round light thing. But unfortunately this you know really took up so much space that it, it actually blocked the thing but yeah now here is where i'm um uh doing the sun thing um yeah so unfortunately i couldn't fill all those blocks so i put because uh, i i didn't really want to overlap uh, overlap that otherwise it's going to start glitching out but i um so I basically build those sun things to generate electricity from and then I found these pipe things now that can be hey that's where the electricity is going to go through um, now a modern house wouldn't really have pipes sticking out but I thought hey you know if this build is like a self-generating house uh, like a smart house I would say then uh, yeah we could we could do it that way mm. yeah so um, one thing I'm one thing I'm really impressed about is you know how I did how I did this. So basically just putting two beautiful paintings over there. I think I add yeah I add them on the stairs, but I took that one down the stairs because whatever you add on the wall next to the stairs, Sims cannot go up on. And that's you know some something really really crazy. But I must say uh, I'm really happy with this house. Like I've said ten times now. But I like it. it. It's just cool. So if you guys would like to download this house, you can. It's on my. It's on my gallery. You can either type hashtag. Wait, what was it? Hashtag modern loft. Um, uh, or either hashtag modern loft home. I actually can't remember. But try try any of those. And, and then to get to my origin ID, you can type hashtag ironic sims. Um, as if you type the hashtag, it will take you to 
or all my other builds because because every single build I've done I I use the hashtag ironic sims so you so you can find them there otherwise you can um, otherwise you can just type in origin ID ironic sims and it will be there so yeah um, yes so over there you know now I'm doing the upstairs bedroom you know very basic I've got a computer up here you see I'm very one thing I have to say about my building is that I'm very you know cautious of how I how I use my space and how I do stuff so there's a TV over there and um, yeah so he has a TV and then he has a desk on the other side and, and I put a nice wardrobe over there so he can you know get change and then I change the lights because it, the, the other one was nice and it's a nice idea but it blocks out the other thing so um, and it was too big so I put this one there and that looks cool and then over here I decided to put hey I put these stones and I also you know used a lot of stuff from uh, the new game pack uh, jungle adventure because it's got some real nice items especially for a rich home so there I put a different type of PlayStation, Xbox, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, there we go. And uh, put another accent there. Because, I don't know, I, li I like doing accents for some reason. It, it just looks cool. So, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you. Thanks very much for uh, watching another of my speed builds. If you guys would like to do a collab with me, contact me. You can. Co I prefer to be contacted on, on, on Twitter because, you know, Twitter is, is, is where I'm busy all the time tweeting, following and stuff. So you, you guys can follow me there on Twitter and uh, send. And if you guys follow me and you're related to gaming or Sims, I will follow you back and we can have a chat and decide what you know if you would like to do a collab then then i'll check out your channel and we can do one so yeah anyway guys thank you very very much for watching another one of my speed builds hope you enjoy the music done by otis the real carlos and i will see you later <laughs>
Anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Please do me a favor, go hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys next time. Please take care. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.